Hi, I'm Mike Overly, author of Guitar Encyclopedia. This is Guitar Forum 2.0. Welcome back. Uh, for tonight's episode, what we're going to cover is uh, pentatonic scales and pentatonic scales as they would be related to the styles of music, country, and rock, and blues. So the first uh, idea that we'd like to cover is that penta uh, is five. So penta means that there's really five letters and tones and sounds in a particular pentatonic scale. And tonic itself is sound, and therefore pentatonic, pentatonic if I could actually speak here, is uh, five tones, or you know, five sounds. Now the cool thing about pentatonic scale is that it's a very versatile scale and uh, lends itself to what we said, many different styles and genres of music, including country and rock and blues. So we're going to begin with the major pentatonic scale. And the major pentatonic scale is the scale that we use with country and folk and bluegrass musics. And so what we now have is the uh, major pentatonic scale. Now the reason why we call it major pentatonic is because the scale itself has tone three. And now if we take just a, a, a major scale, then we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven tones of a major scale. And therefore, tone one and tone three, tone three is what makes it major. So therefore, if we eliminate uh, certain tones from the major scale uh, and uh, leave ourselves uh, with only tone one, tone two, tone three, five, and six. So major pentatonic scale is really the major scale that doesn't have a tone four or a tone six. So that sound, one, two, three, five, six, then could be played in the second octave. Uh, we don't have to really go into the tone numbers of that thing. So what we have now is a major pentatonic scale in two octaves. Now, part of what makes music be music is that it has uh, a chord scale relationship. So if we just take a simple open C major chord, then what we find is then that that open C major chord would be played while we apply that C major pentatonic scale. Now, what I have here is a, uh, a sequencer, uh, and this sequencer then is programmed to play uh, patterns of rhythm that is stylistic to the genre you're playing and uh, some uh, harmony uh, that would fit whatever it is we're uh, playing at the moment. So what I've got programmed on here now is uh, like a, a simple country rhythm uh, with a, a C major chord. And so therefore if we now play that, then we have this simple C major chord that sounds like country music or folk music or bluegrass music. So that would be the rhythm guitar part of this. Now what we've got then is our major pentatonic scale that goes with the major, the C major chord, the C major pentatonic scale. Now when we change the chord to a G7 chord, and we'll take an open G7 chord, that's actually now what we call the five chord in the key of C major. So therefore we'd put a G7 chord uh, in the machine. And now we'll play that. So here's our G7. But the amazing thing of music with the chord scale relationships is that I'll still just play the C major pentatonic scale, but I'm gonna favor that tone five of the scale. So here's one and it kind of doesn't sound like it fits the chord, and that is because it sounds better if we start on tone five, because tone five is G of C, and it sounds like the scale. So therefore, we have these two chords, C major and G7, but both of those chords are coming from the C major key, and therefore the C major pentatonic scale sounds uh, correct with both of them. So what we're now going to do is we're going to go to, uh, let me look at my notes here, uh, a pattern 
and song progression. Now a progression is when you link chords together and it creates a chord progression or a harmony progression. So we got two chords that we've played, C major and G7, and now we're gonna play them uh, together, which will be a, a harmony progression, a chord progression, and that is on the machine. Okay, so now what we have is, we have our two chords, the one chord and the five chord, but what we're gonna do this time now is we're gonna expand it and change the key, first of all, to G. So G, we're in the key of G, so G is the one chord, and then we're gonna have a four chord. So we're adding one more chord to our progression to make it sound a little bit more like a song. That C major chord is the four chord of G, and D7, which is the five chord of G. So we've got a G chord, G major chord, the one chord, C major, the four chord, and D7, the uh, five chord. Now when we put those together in the key of G, then instead of playing that C major pentatonic scale, we'll now play the G major pentatonic scale. It's still the same tone numbers, one, two, three, five, six, but now we're on the letter G that goes with our key of G, and therefore here's what we got going on. So that's how we uh, play major pentatonic scale and apply that to the style of music that we would call country or folk or bluegrass. And so that is our first uh, pentatonic scale, the major pentatonic scale, which has tone three in it. Now one last thing to think about that's really cool about the scale is all you got to do is change the rhythm and you change it into an entirely different style of music. So if we play the C major pentatonic scale, but we play it in a rhythmic way that sounds country, it sounds like that country lick. But if we change the rhythm of the same exact tones and change it to then all of a sudden you got a Motown hit, My Girl. So very versatile scale, lends itself to many, many styles of music, and uh, that'll get you started on the major pentatonic. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do now, we're gonna look at pentatonic scales that we would use in a rock context. And therefore, the scale changes from the major pentatonic scale to the minor pentatonic scale. Now, minor pentatonic, well, minor itself then is defined as flat three. So if you took like a major chord, which has a tone three in it, it would sound like major. But if you flat that three, then you would make that major chord sound minor. So the difference between major is major is three, minor is flat three, so flat three is minor. So if now we take the minor pentatonic scale, which is still five tones, but those tones now, and we're gonna play in the key of A minor, would be tone one is A, and flat three is the C, and then four, five, and uh, flat seven. So minor pentatonic has different tone numbers than the major pentatonic. Major pentatonic was one, two, three, five, six. Minor pentatonic is one, flat three, four, five, and flat seven, and into its second octave. So now if we change our um, sequencer to a, um, uh, let's see, we gotta change the tempo too. Tempo, of course, is, is the, uh, the rate of speed that a um, uh, song 
beats go in a song. So what we're doing now is we're going to change the tempo to a faster tempo, go up to 120 beats a minute. I can't see that screen. So here we go. So now we're going to go to 120 beats a minute. We are going to change our rhythmic pattern to our rhythm pattern on this is it's just a number, so it doesn't really mean anything. But it'll sound more rock. It won't sound country. And then we're going to change our chord to that A minor. Now what we want to do is get that tempo back up. And now we have a much more rock sounding thing. Now the minor pentatonic is what we play with that minor chord. And here's your minor pentatonic. One, flat three, four, five, flat seven. So you can see that you have a totally different sound than you had when you played the major pentatonic. There's no way that anybody would think that that was uh, country. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to uh, a programmed progression. And now what this is going to do, this is going to be on, instead of the A minor pentatonic that we uh, played in our example, this is going to now shift to B, min uh, B minor key and the B minor pentatonic scale. So we would have our B minor chord now and then B minor pentatonic scale. Now we're going to do another harmony chord progression. So what's going to happen is we're going to glue uh, three chords together. We're going to take the B minor, then we're going to take G major, an A major, an A mi uh, B minor. So B minor, G major, A major, B minor. Now one of the things that can make the guitar actually in fact sound more rock is if you uh, put distortion on your amp. So I just reached over and played, uh, pushed a little button and now it sounds like distorted and sounds more like sounds like a rock guitar. So now what we'll do is we'll put the track on the B minor, G, and uh, A major and B minor, and uh, then play the B minor pentatonic scale and see what that sounds like. So we can see that that has a totally different feel to it. It's rock music. It sounds like rock, distorted guitar, drums that are much more heavy and powerful. And it sounds like rock music. But the point is now, it was created the, the shall we say, the lead guitar, which is really certain sense melody guitar, is created by playing the minor pentatonic scale rather than the major pentatonic scale. Now we'll get rid of that distortion. And uh, now look at one cool thing about these two different uh, pentatonic scales, C major pentatonic scale and A minor pentatonic scale. What's amazing about these two scales is that they are in fact called relative. And they're relative to one another because actually in fact they contain the same letters. So when you play a C major pentatonic, you play C, D, E, F, I mean G and A. 
C, D, E, G, A. And that creates the C major pentatonic. But the same exact letters exist in the A minor pentatonic scale, but the order of the letters are different, and it becomes now A, C, E, I mean D, E, G. So A, C, D, E, G is the A minor pentatonic, but C, D, E, G, A is the C major pentatonic. So that goes with the C major chord because it's the C major pentatonic scale. The relative minor scale of the C major pentatonic is the A minor pentatonic. And So the amazing thing about those two scales is that they both have exactly the same letters, but by starting on C, you make it sound like C major pentatonic, but by starting on A, you make it sound like A minor pentatonic, and then the outgrowth of all that is that if you play the C major pentatonic scale, you sound like country and folk and bluegrass, but if you play the A minor pentatonic scale, then you sound like rock. So that's a, a lot of versatility all inside one simple five tones, five letters that you play. Okay, now the next part of it is that, uh, so that took care of our, our, our country and, and uh, uh, folk and, and bluegrass style with the major pentatonic. And then we had our rock style with the minor pentatonic. Now we'll look at a new scale, but this scale is an outgrowth of pentatonic scale. Now remember pentatonic, Penta was five, and pentatonic scale was a five-tone scale. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add one tone to the pentatonic scale and create a six-tone scale. Now the tone we're going to add to minor pentatonic is flat five. Now in the minor pentatonic, we have one, flat three, four, and five. Now simply stated, flat just means that you play any sound on the guitar, and then you just go down lower to the left one fret and that creates flat. So flat is like a flat tire, you just go downward. So you have a five, you have a flat five. So if we take the minor pentatonic, one, flat three, four, five, flat seven, but we add flat five to it, one, flat three, four, flat five, five, flat seven, then we have a hexatonic scale, because now we have a six tone scale. So one, flat three, four, flat five, five, flat seven. And then in the second octave then, A, well, we don't need the tone numbers, but second octave now. So what we have here is, in the same way that we have a four and a flat five, well, the octave of that is you, to make an octave simply in tone numbers, you just add seven. So if I have four, then I'll add seven to that, and I'll create 11. And then those are the same letters, and they're an octave apart. So four, one octave higher is 11. Now, five, of course, is 12, because five plus seven is 12. Therefore, flat five is flat 12. So you just add seven, and then you add the flat or sharp, which is not in this lesson, but you add the flat. So therefore, we have a four to flat five, or we have 11 to flat 12. And therefore, we have a hexatonic scale. Now, that hexatonic scale actually is not what it's called. It's called the blues scale. And therefore, it goes with the blues. Now, the blues is uh, obviously a different style of music than country music or rock music. Uh, there are hybrid musics that confuse the issue, like some people say they're playing rock blues or whatever. But we want to keep them separate for this lesson, of course, and therefore what we would find is we would then take uh, a blues pattern on our machine. Okay, now the next part is the harmony that goes with the uh, blues. Now even though it's still the same kind of context that, that happened in the country music with like the one, four, five chord, C and F and G. It uses what we call the dominant seventh. Now we don't have to go into any of that in this particular lesson, but it changes the sound of the chord. So this is going to be A7, A dominant seventh chord. Mm -hmm. 
and now we have the four chord that would be in the key of A, that would be D dominant seven. And then in the key of A, we would have the, the E dominant seven. So and then you could go up one half step to make it kind of varied and more interesting. So now we have the harmony that we need for the blues, and now we need to put that, uh, to listen to what that would sound like. So here's going to be the A7, and then I'll play the uh, uh, blues scale, which remember is that hexatonic scale because we're adding flat 5 and it's octave flat 12. Oh, that's a fast blues, so what we'll do is we'll slow this down so it sounds a little bit more like a blues. A nice slow blues like that. So here is the dominant seven, A7. And all its variations that you could have on the chord side. Now, for this lesson, of course, we're talking about scales, so now we're going to play the A blues scale, which is the minor pentatonic scale with flat five added, the hexatonic scale. One, flat three, four, flat five, five, flat seven. Then in second octave, eight, flat 10, 11, and here's the flat 12, and then 12 and flat 14. Now, what tends to make it sound even more blues is that we start to use techniques. These techniques now will be slide. Now, this, well, first of all, just fretting itself. So if we take the tone 11 and the tone flat 12, then we can articulate this by just fretting and picking it. Still using that flat 5 in its flat 12 place. Could do it on 4. Now to make it sound more blues, what we do is we add techniques. Slide is when you play one sound, sustain the pressure of that sound, and then slide to another sound. So what we just did, we played 11 and slid to 12. And we can slide back. So now we can make the sound So a different way to articulate that particular uh, 4 and flat 5 or 11 and flat 12. And then finally, the bend. Now the bend is where you play the first sound and then just, shall we say, push the string either up or down. Whoa, overdone it. But it doesn't make any difference if you go up or down when you bend because what you're really doing is you're increasing the tension of the string either way and therefore it always has to go up. Therefore, uh, that would introduce what everyone calls the whammy bar, of course, this vibrato bar by true definition. And this is the only way, really, that you can make a sound go down on the guitar, is that you press this bar down and it makes it go down. Like Eddie Van Halen and stuff like that. So the idea now is that all the bending that you do without the whammy bar the, the pitch will rise. So here's our 11, here's our flat 12, and what we're going to do is we're going to play 11 and bend up to the flat 12 sound. Now when I do the 4, you don't really want to push upward because it falls off the fretboard, so you actually go down. But even though you go pull the string downward, it still makes the pitch rise. So. So on this blues sound that we have, we have this articulated uh, flat 12 thing, slide, bend, so. So just different ways that you can articulate uh, playing the same sounds and the same tones, uh, but it makes it sound like the blues.
So what we will now do is we'll put on a harmony progression uh, of the uh, blues, and now we will have a harmony progression, uh, a harmony blues progression. Now, uh, it's interesting to note actually now that everyone, you'll hear this said about the blues that it was a, tw it was a 12 bar blues, right? So the 12 bar blues now uh, is going to uh, be played on, on this track. And then, of course, you could play blues all night long, and many people do, and you got B.B. King and Stevie Ray Vaughan and on and on and on, and the blues is fun. So I'm going to leave you with this uh, uh, track uh, of, of playing out on the show tonight. I hope you enjoyed uh, the Guitar Forum 2.0. Make sure you check back with us uh, next uh, time. And uh, until then, uh, have some fun playing the uh, uh, pentatonic scales and... Uh, and I'll see you uh, next time. Thank you.